right, I'm coming. Hey, what's up? Oh, not too much. I just made this super cool intro using the new prompting method where you were like in this cave and then you were crawling around and then there's like this little girl, but then there was like this monster and then you died. Wow, I can't even imagine. That sounds like a real treat. Yeah, so can you show people the new prompting method? Because I think it'll really help people with their video prompts on Kling AI. Okay, sure. Give me a sec and I'll jump on YouTube right now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna break down some of the most powerful prompts for any cinematic masterpiece. But not only that, by the end of this video, you're going to understand the secret hack on how I'm able to do this super fast with extreme accuracy. Every shot you choose, every angle, every motion should serve a purpose to amplify emotion, build tension, or immerse your audience deeper into the scene. Now, after testing dozens of video generation tools, Kling AI is my personal favorite. It simply has the best quality outputs and the best prompt adherence in most cases. Still, no matter which video generation tool you use, making sure you have proper prompting structure will determine how good your output are. For example, in order to properly animate this picture of me in a boat, the first part of the prompt is the subject, and so I'll say, a young woman with flowing red highlighted hair sitting on the edge of a rustic wooden boat under the night sky, her face illuminated by the soft moonlight. Number two, we have to add the action or the movement, and so I'll say, the woman turns her head gracefully to look at the moon, her hair moving slightly with the breeze. Next, we have to describe the background, so I'll say a serene lake reflecting the shimmering light of the full moon. Surrounded by dark silhouettes of distant hills, the sky is clear, dotted with bright stars and soft clouds. The next thing is background movement, so I'll say the water ripples gently, catching the moon's reflection while faint wisps of clouds drift slowly across the night sky. And finally, we have to add camera motion, so I'll say the camera orbits smoothly around the woman, keeping her face in focus as she turns to gaze at the moon, emphasizing her expression in the moonlit atmosphere. So these are the core components of what I want this prompt to consist of, but now I'll just go ahead and combine all of these elements together, and so the final prompt will be A young woman with flowing red highlighted hair sits on the edge of a rustic wooden boat under a stunning night sky. Her face is illuminated by the soft ethereal glow of the full moon. She gracefully turns her head to gaze at the moon, her hair catching the gentle breeze. In the background, a serene lake reflects the shimmering moonlight with faint ripples dancing across the surface. The dark silhouettes of the distant hills frame the scene while the sky sparkles with stars and drifting clouds. The camera orbits smoothly around her, keeping her face in focus as she moves, capturing her tranquil expression in the dreamlike moonlit ambience. Of course, no AI is perfect, but we can see that it did, in fact, capture every element of this prompt to some degree. But more importantly, with proper prompting, you can get what you want on the first try, or at least reduce the amount of times that you need to re-roll the clip so you don't burn through too many credits. Now, this would obviously be pretty difficult and time-consuming if you had to think of a professionally crafted prompt for every clip you try to make. So. Here's how you can do it super quickly. For those of you that are not part of the Creator Secrets community, you can simply take the prompting template that I outlined. I'll put it on the screen here so you can take a screenshot. Then simply bring it into ChatGPT and tell it to create your prompts based on that template. And that definitely works if you play around with it a bit. However, for those of you that are in the Creator Secrets community, Scotty recently added this new custom GPT. It's based on Kling's prompting guidelines. However, it's set up to act as a professional prompt engineer and create the best possible prompt according to your specific image. So all I have to do here is click the Video Prompt Magic version 2.0. And once I get to this page, I can just click Start. 
Now it's asking me to upload the image I want to animate, so I can just drop it here and send that. In this case, I just have an image of me riding this horse along the cliffside. At this point, it's going to ask me what type of camera motion that I would like to have in the shot. Now, I can type in any type of motion that I want, but it's going to offer a few examples here. In this case, because I'm sort of riding along this cliffside, I think it would be really cool if the camera sort of follows the horse while kind of lifting up into the air at the same time to show, you know, the vastness of the landscape. And so the type of motion that I want would be probably this one right here, the crane lift. So I'm going to say follow while doing a crane lift. So I'll send that. And now it's asking what type of action needs to take place. So for this scene, I'm just going to say the horse is galloping at full speed. The woman's hair is blowing in the wind as the horse runs. All right, so let's go ahead with that. Okay, so now what it's going to do is analyze the image along with the camera motion and the action that I want to happen. And it's going to break that down and structure it into the proper template that works the best with Kling AI. And then it's going to assemble the final prompt here so I can simply just copy and paste. But this allows me to easily see all of the elements that are involved in my prompt. And so if I'm not getting the right output, I can come back here and I can easily just tell it to change, you know, some of these elements or if I want to tweak it in a certain way or whatever the case may be, I can just say change number five to a slow zoom, right? And then it's going to rewrite the prompt with that modification. And so now we can see that it's rewrote this prompt. However, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and try the original prompt that it gave me right here. And let's see what we get. So here on Kling, I'll just drop in my image and paste in the prompt and click generate. So I went ahead and ran this one two times. The first one came out actually really good, but for some reason the horse decided to just take a random left turn, apparently wants to jump off the side of the cliff. But other than that, we are seeing really good physics from the horse and the hair. We are seeing the camera following the horse and we are seeing a slight crane lift in terms of the camera motion. So overall, not bad at all. But the next one here, I think came out a little better. It just looks a little bit more realistic in terms of the physics, the way the horse is galloping and just, you know, following the trail a little bit more accurately this time. We are seeing the camera following the horse and the crane lift is very, very subtle, but it is there. So being that the GPT just asked me a few really basic questions, very easy to answer, and this is the output that I was able to get is absolutely phenomenal. However, if you don't have an image to start with, you can even use Video Prompt Magic version 1, which essentially just turns a very basic prompt into a professional prompt, but this can be really helpful if you don't have a starting image. Which, by the way, the community has a ton of awesome stuff. It shows all of the best workflows for creating content in all these various types of niches and categories in addition to the best ways to monetize your content and of course it will even show you how to create AI influencers or a YouTube influencer such as myself. You can learn how to track all of the highest performing AI content that's getting millions of views on social media. So this is a great place to be if you are serious about content creation and you want to learn the best methods to monetize your content so that you can turn your views into money. The link for the community will be down in the description below, so definitely be sure to check that out. In any case, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next video.